Thank you for joining us today. I'm Larry with ProVet Logic. Today's question is an important one from a customer in Houston, Texas. How do I know if my dog has kennel cough, influenza, or dog flu? Kennel cough is a relatively generic term that is associated with, well, a coughing dog. It's not always even easy, even with an advanced testing, for a veterinarian to pinpoint the cause of the cough. It could be associated with Bordetella or any number of viruses associated with a canine influenza. If your veterinarian or health department in your area can pinpoint the virus and your dog can be vaccinated, please do so, and especially if your dog spends time around, and, around other dogs, such as in a, in a boarding environment or a, uh, a dog playground. Dogs can carry certain viruses, but not show symptoms for days, and sometimes not at all. If you operate a facility that houses dogs, whether in a daycare or overnight capacity, it is important to implement a strategic and consistent protocol to help control cross-contamination. Number one, isolate the infected dogs. Number two, increase cross-ventilation, open windows, even if it's cold outside. This time of year, as it gets colder up north and it spreads throughout the country, this is when we start getting the calls about sick dogs, coughing dogs, and every time we talk to these folks, it's the same common denominator. Everybody closes their windows and doors as soon as it gets cold. So think about your kid, your child in a, in a daycare setting. Sally comes in, coughs is on little Joe, coughs on little Joey, Joey brings the, brings the flu home to everybody. Same thing in the animal care environment. Implement a consistent protocol using an enzymatic cleaner to degrade the organic matter. Let the surface dry thoroughly and to sanitize the surface using an EPA disinfectant with approved efficacy, and this is very, very important, read the label and make sure that disinfectant has efficacy or has a kill claim, as we would say, for Bordetella, canine, parainfluenza, and the various avian influenza viruses. We hope to see you next time. Until then, please join us in our mission to make the animal care world a better place.